Hi guys, Rene here. A couple of you have been asking about how do I set up my computer screen and my head unit. So this is my new Wahoo Element Bolt, but I basically had this very similar setup on all my devices so far. So on the Edge 1000, Edge 520, now on the Bolt, it's pretty much the same. So what do I have here? Well, first starting with pages, I have only this one. So the element also has this little sub menu for the travel segments. I have that enabled now. But other than that, no elevation, no anything basically, just this one screen. So if I zoom out completely, uh, here's, here's uh, what I can see. Of course, this is a Wahoo uh, specific feature, this uh, zooming. So if you're not familiar with it, uh, you set this up using your smartphone app uh, for the element and then basically you can choose how much or how little data you want there based on the order you put these fields in. So let's start with the first field. Uh, this is obviously the most important and that's my power. I use the three second average setting just because well if you use the real time setting then it's jumping all over the place. This one is a bit more manageable, a bit easier to read because it's well it's three second average it's a bit more constant so that's the reason why I use that one. Then secondly I have cadence I like to check on my cadence even though I have a pretty good feel for that now so not super uh, necessary but still I like to have it on there. Then next heart rate mm, for me heart rate varies quite a lot uh, you know, when I race, I have 10, 15, sometimes even 20 beats uh, higher heart rate for the same effort, just because you know the dread of the adrenaline and stuff. So, not really all that relevant, but still, I like to keep it on there for training sometimes, uh, particularly for those low zones. I sometimes uh, keep my eye on it. Then speed. Well, that's completely irrelevant when training. Uh, a bit more useful when racing actually because you know if you're in the bunch you're not really feeling from the resistance that how fast you're going but if you see that you're riding at 50 k per hour 55 you know that's not the right time to attack or move up in the bunch so uh, I use it mainly for that uh, the Wahoo also shows this relative to your average speed for that ride or lap that uh, when you're riding along just a small little arrow appears on there to indicate whether you are above or under your average speed so that's a nice little feature but yeah it's more in training at least it's more of an entertainment thing than actually something useful but still nice to keep an eye on then distance traveled I think that goes without saying Although time is the really important stuff, I like to keep my distance on there as well. Then normalized power, that's uh, really quite useful. Uh, because, well, when I'm training, doing some intervals and stuff, I like to keep an eye on that to see if I'm going hard enough or easy enough. And then again, in the race, I know uh, if I spent too much or not, or how should I be feeling. Uh, regarding that then average power is displayed here for example uh, for some reason this just says watts but this is average power and then finally this is my SRAM gearing and this is the last field because well it's only re relevant to one of my bikes because that's the only one using a, an electronic group set and the only one using a front derailleur and that's uh, still that's only sometimes so not really on all that important, but I like uh, having an eye on that for some of the climbs when you really want to avoid cross chaining and sometimes you know when you're sitting in a bunch uh, looking down is not perhaps not the wisest thing to do when there are many people around you traveling at high speed so uh, that's just uh, so I can check on that uh, most of the time I use this position 
so not completely zoomed out or zoomed in but just this one with seven fields so again nice big wattage display here and then all the relevant data here uh, the reason I don't use the other fields and other other pages well they're not really all that relevant to me you know I'm a competitively focused rider so all I need basically is this and nothing more I like to keep it as simple as possible so yeah this is how I set up my computer screen uh, a couple of you have been asking about this so that's the reason I've done this video if you want to know more about my bikes and how they are set up then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe it's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time